<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the first in my townie makeover series. It kind of had to be the pancake family. So we are making over Bob at the moment. I did try to keep him quite scruffy because that is his sort of whole thing. The pancakes family are quite a bit of a weird one. Um, their description says, poor, poor Bob and Eliza, have they ever been happy? It seems there's nothing one can do to please the other. Just what is keeping this couple together? Or conversely, what is the spark that will finally drive them apart? So when you go in to play them, they do have quite a large romantic relationship, but they look to be sleeping in separate rooms. There's two rooms in the house. One looks very Eliza, very pink, very neat and the other is very bob very sort of scruffy it looks like a teenage boys room really and it looks as well as though she's bought him some sort of workout gear as well but it doesn't look like he's been using it all bob is interested in really is becoming a master chef and he's a loner he's a slob and he's gloomy so it sort of is the hen-picked husband isn't it he looks very brow beaten and he does come across as a very sad character i do like bob pancakes actually i think he's quite an interesting sim he's actually depicted at one point as the most least interesting sim in the world i think maxis used that somewhere and there's a lot of pictures in the sims of bob just looking a little bit miserable so I'm sure if I was ever to play them they probably would sort of draw themselves away from each other but who knows I think Maxis did upload um, an update of them when toddlers came out with a little son called Iggy I think he's called so yeah it looks like Maxis do want them to stay together but if I was to play them it probably would be the opposite it would definitely end in tears I think um, at the very least they, they might end up having a child but they probably wouldn't end up staying together if it were me so we are just about finished with Bob here we're moving on to Eliza I had a lot of trouble getting her hair right with poor Eliza. <laughs> I don't know why. I just wanted her to look really sort of neat and put together and sort of the opposite of Scruffy Bob. And I just couldn't quite find the hair. In the end, I did opt to give her a fringe, but it just does take a little while. I also tried to put Bob in sort of quite lounge clothing and Eliza, I've done sort of the opposite. I've tried to put her in smart clothing and I hope it comes across that their personalities are just the absolute polar opposites. So something I would like to know actually, have you ever played the Pancakes family? What did you do with them? Did they have children? Did they break up? And also, do you like the Pancakes family? There's a lot of sort of people that don't really like Eliza Pancakes, quite despise her actually. I don't mind her too much, she doesn't sort of seem too bad, she hasn't sort of crossed my sims in any way, but I think a few people, yeah, they, they say that she's um, she's a bit annoying in their games. So what has Eliza Pancakes, if anything, ever done to, to your sims? Has she ever come over and just been really annoying? Let me know. And here we go, we're just, we've chosen this hair now with this fringe here. And I'm trying to put her in something quite smart. As I say, I do want her to be like a polar stark contrast to Bob. And I'm absolutely loving these trousers that I put her in. And I started to go with high heels, but then I decided, no, she'd be very practical with Eliza. I can imagine her being that sort of practical sim. Although saying that, in her formal wear, I did pop her some contact lenses in. So she's not wearing her glasses in her formal wear. But um, the formal wear, I did go for sort of a polka dot spotty dress which you'll see in a minute but I swap that over because when I start doing her party wear the outfit that I put her in for a party wear is more sort of formal and the formal wear that I put her in at the moment which is this spotty dress which I'm putting her in now it's more suited for party wear so we swap those over a little bit later. I just wanted her to be very very practical she's got the tights on here she's got the smart shoes but they are sort of the um, practical shoes as well. I started off putting some wacky earrings on her but I decided now nah, that's too much for our little Eliza so I just popped these little studs on her. 
and her makeup is very, very minimal. But I think that's what she suits. I think she looks very good in these minimalistic sort of makeups and her outfits. Although they're very smart and put together, she is a perfectionist. She's very neat. But at the same time, uh, I do feel like that comes across in her outfits. The very sort of pin straight, iron straight. And I think that's what she likes. She likes looking very sleek, very put together. She is also very materialistic. She's a mansion baron. So I wanted her clothing not to look too cheap. I did want it to look a little bit more expensive. Like she's put a little bit more effort in. And I hope that comes across. So we're just in her sleepwear now and again I just keep it very very simple, She, she's a little bit, bless her, I think she's a little bit boring and I think Bob is a little bit boring as well in his style of clothing but I did try to sort of jazz it up just a little bit just so that they're not such a boring couple because I guess they are. I do feel sorry for Bob though, bless him. I think that he's in this relationship for all the wrong reasons. One thing that I did do with Bob and Eliza is you might notice that Eliza is wearing her wedding band and Bob isn't so I wanted to show that there would be a sort of rocky period that they're going through where Bob's decided not to wear his ring anymore but Eliza still is to keep up appearances. I think Eliza I think doesn't have a job, she's unemployed so I kind of feel like she's the sort of housewife and she's sort of putting everything onto Bob to make the money but at the same time she's also getting him to work out, she's getting him to do all of these things and poor Bob, I think all he wants to do really is cook. <laughs> all he wants to do is cook. But anyway, I think I am going to leave you here. We're nearly done with Eliza, we're going to swap some stuff over in a minute. This is the outfit that I swap over to her formal wear and we go with uh, the spotty dress for her party wear. But yeah, we're not too far done now so I'm gonna leave you here. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. There's some screenshots at the end and I shall see you in the next Townie Makeover. I'm going to be making this a weekly series. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!